Lots of times people say to me, I just don't understand the Old Testament. And I say, I understand. <laughs> because God chose to do something odd in the Bible. I've told you before, the other holy books of the world are composed of statements by the God or the God's spokesperson, just bare statements there. If you read the Quran, that's, that's what it is. If you read Buddhist writings, that's what it is. If you read Hindu writings, that's what it is. Just these bare pronouncements. God chose to do something different. God chose to reveal his truth in the context of time and space. He chose to reveal himself in relationship with a particular people. That's not an accident. That's not an accident. God is not about making bare pronouncements. God is about relating to his creatures. And so that means that we need to understand something about these people, something about their space, something about their time, if we're to understand what's going on. If you walk down the street and pick up a letter, you don't know who wrote it, you don't know who it was written to, chances are it'll make very little sense. But if, in fact, as you begin to read, you discover that letter was written by your grandfather to your grandmother when he was in Europe in the First World War. It'll make a lot more sense. And that's true with the Old Testament especially. It's true with the New too. But we can kid ourselves with the New Testament that you really don't need to know that stuff and you can still understand it. Well, yes, you can, but you can understand it a whole lot better if you know who it's written to, who was writing, what the situation was, where they were writing, and so forth. But in the Old Testament, you just pretty well can't escape that. You've got to know.